This tutorial will demonstrate the new April tag distance constraint and survey control reference capabilities now available in DOT 3D for iOS beta version 30 and up. This scan sample is of a kitchen counter, for example, for renovation purposes. And in order to obtain the highest possible accuracy of this scan, we've taken a couple tape measurements as precisely as possible to reference the length and the height of the area that we're scanning. So the capture process is the same as always. I'm gonna press the button on the right to start my scan at that corner point with a couple April tags and then move through the scene, filling in all the areas of importance and making sure to turn each of my April tags uh, orange. I can return back to these whenever I have the opportunity or any April tag for that matter as a best practice for loop closure. And also make sure to most importantly, finish back at the same April tags you've started at. Then press the button on the right to finish your scan. Take a quick look at your unoptimized preview. But before we optimize, in this case, we're gonna apply those targeting constraints. So I'll press the tag slash target button up top. And this screen will allow you to add known measurements or add known coordinates to any tag. So if I was adding known coordinates from a total station or a CAD model or a laser scan, I would just go to this screen, tap on a tag, hit edit, and add in those XYZ coordinates. In this case, however, we don't even have to touch that because all we're doing is just referencing a couple quick measurements that were taken of the scene. So I press the top left button to add a distance constraint, and then I just tap 143, 137, and input that it is exactly 120 inches. Next, I wanna add a distance constraint to 131 and 133 at 60 inches. And now this will be automatically applied to my optimization. So I go to the Optimize tab, and you see the box is already checked automatically to use constraints from targeting. So we're gonna take advantage of that, as well as everything else that traditionally gets in, taken into account during optimization. So those constraints have been applied, and you're now looking at a highly accurate resulting data set with that additional information taken into account. To check those measurements, we can utilize our new April Tag to April Tag measurement feature by going to Measure Distance, and tapping from tag to tag. When I do add measurement, I can just do 143 to 137. And that's now pulling measurements exactly from the center point of those tags. You'll see that my measurement is still a tenth of an inch off, even with the scale constraints. Um, that can be expected uh, in some cases, given the natural fluctuation of the data itself, potential for error in your measurement. Uh, a tape measure is only so accurate. And the fact that we're taking into account a whole wide range of optimization components um, that are crucial to ensuring the best possible results. If I want to check my second measurement, you add measurement from 133 to 131, and you'll see that that one actually ties in exactly at 60 inches. So the fluctuation here is between zero inches and one tenth of an inch. So you're going to be within two to three millimeters every time when you utilize these hard constraints.